sometimes you listen to some uh, pieces of music and they sound very simple but they have so much going on it just sounds right everything just connects together and i put down some tips to help you figure out how you can make your music sound really nice and really appealing by using this few secrets and this these few tips i'm pretty sure that some of you might utilize these tips not even knowing but uh, to put them in kind of an order in kind of a form like this will help you especially if you're a beginner now the first thing is panning panning is a very simple thing that most people overlook panning really helps space out your track and make sure that everything is positioned nicely and freely so uh, your sounds and everything that's in your track doesn't fight for frequency space so when you're working on your drums like let's say for instance we can take uh, these two shakers here so if you notice that I have panned these two shakers, one to the left and one to the right. So let me just uh, play the one shaker. This one is playing to the left. And if I can play the other shaker, it's playing more to the right. So just that subtle pan made these shakers uh, sound a little bit more clearer. So when you're listening to uh, this song, having these shakers panned to the left, to the left and to the right, it uh, makes them a little bit more clear because they're not fighting for the same position and the same place in the frequency spectrum and you know just in the stereo field like if i were to just pan them right in the middle they wouldn't really sound good so panning starts from like right here in the channel rack like if i go to my audio because these are loops so if I come here, you can see my shaker is right there and you can see I have it panned to the left and the other one is panned to the right. And it's not like overly panned, but if I like take off the panning like this and then I play them back, they sound okay, but with a little bit of panning, you create a little bit of an interesting feel to them. Now, when it comes to panning, you can pan anything. You can pan a melody. You can pan anything that you create. You can add a little bit of panning. A little bit of panning really helps. So add some panning. Even when you're mixing vocals, you want to pan the back of vocals to the left and to the right to create some separation. So panning is really good. Another thing is also layering. Like as you can see here, I have two shakers which are layer, which are like a layer together. That's actually a layer. They are both shakers. It's more or less the same thing, but they are shakers. This is how the one shaker sounds. It's okay, but it might sound really thin. If you want to really thicken up your sounds, you need to layer your sounds. So if I add the other shaker, or let's say if I play the other shaker, uh, it's without the other layer of the first shaker. It sounds very thin, but if I play them both together, plus the panning, then you have a much bigger shaker, if that makes sense, that's a little, that has a little bit more character. So that uh, kind of makes sense. And then what you can do as well, you can also move on to other sounds uh, that you can even layer. Like I have this sound over here. So this sound has this sound so i'm using expand for this and on this expand i have a string and a lead so if i just play this uh the string on its own it's a normal uh spiccato string it sounds like that but i added a layer using expand 2 that's why one thing i love about expand 2 is that it allows you to layer sounds and create your own custom layers using these sections over here so you can add parts and layer up sounds of all the preset banks that it has in expand so you can layer up to like four sounds so you can see here one two three four a b c and d so i have another layer here which is this lead i'm just going to play it on its own And now together. And then on top of this layer, I also have another sound that I added from Expand, which is this, a grand piano and a hybrid pad. So what that sounds like on its own is like this. And what's nice is that you also have a mixer here, so you can play around with the level of your layers. If you want to maybe, you know, turn down a certain layer you can turn it down if you want to pan it or add effects to it or do certain things you can do that in the plugin itself
and then all together they sound like this. So this creates really nice and thick melodies that you can add to your track to really create something more unique from the presets. I mean, if someone else has the same plugin, the same expand, and they hear what I've done here, they won't know which plugin that is. They won't know where to find it because I've added my own touch and I've added my own layer to the track. So layering makes for really nice unique sounds it's the only way you can deviate from what everyone else has so the second thing is also melodics right here uh, where we're talking about layers is also to play around with a lot of melodies if you add a lot of melodies to your track your track can be really memorable melodies are something that most people are really drawn to and they remember in a track so adding a lot of melodies is really good like right here i have this simple melody here It's something that you can you can remember. Bam, 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 bam. It's, it's something really simple, but it's really, really efficient. So if I play it in context of uh, the shakers that I had here, really nice and simple. And then another melody that I have is this uh, bass line that we have here. Very simple. And then if you want a more faster melody, you can add that. Just a simple melody like that. It's just like an, an arpeggio that I created uh, with the patch here, which is the wine maker bank it's like a soft lead that i added to create a little bit of a faster melody so you can have slower melodies you can have faster melodies you can have medium melodies and hybrid melodies so these make a person uh, it creates interest and make a person uh remember a certain melody of a track making it a little bit more memorable because you want people to remember your track so melodies are really important and then uh, you also have like simple ones that are just like this this is just an up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's very simple. And also your bass line is also a melody. So here's my bass line here. So the trick is knowing how to make all these sounds work well together. So if I play this section here, this is how it sounds. It works well together. So all these melodies coming together work well. I mean, there's not even like uh, chords here, but it sounds really nice. And another thing is to also add variation. The more variation you add to your track, the more complex it is, the more uh, interesting and the more worked on it is. So a variation can start from just adding a single note. Like for instance, you have this uh, sound over here. It's like a repetitive sound simple right but i have just one note over here that i added to add that little variation at the end to have a little bit of a resolve at the end there that uh, makes so much of a difference instead of just taking it out and then just having it go like but adding that one note creates a little bit of interest and creates a change so it takes out the repetitiveness of this whole uh of this whole pattern so just adding that makes makes it really nice and then if you come to my bass line here i also have like a lot of variation here so you can see here that um it's more or less the same like it's more or less the same two bars like this first bar and the second bar but when we get to the third and the fourth, we now have a little bit of a variation to make it different from the uh, first section to the second section. So we have a little bit of a difference. We have a different way of how it goes into like the 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 connection between this this part over here, right here, and then over here it goes in like this. It goes in like a like a ladder you can see these notes here that are kind of going up and then also the resolve at the end 
and then goes down like that. But then this end, it goes up. So instead of going down, it's going up at the end over here. And also using this technique of uh, using these shorter notes that sound different is also a nice thing. Because you can see here, I have these longer notes. These that are a bit longer and I also have these smaller ones. So they create a little bit of variation in the track so that they sound different. So these uh, longer notes sound like this. And then the shorter ones sound like this. So it creates a little bit of movement in the track where it's not just the same thing. So again, it's panning, layering, melodics and variation it's the few tips and secrets and the things that make your track really interesting that you want to add to your music. So make sure that when you're producing, just implement these few tips and secrets and you I promise you, your music will sound much more better and much easier, no matter how simple your composition is. You make it a little bit better just by implementing these few things. So if I play the whole track together, it sounds like this. Thank you.